Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, guys, welcome back. Kevin here. Joe. And we are back with episode two of Hacks. Yeah. What do you think of the premiere? I liked it a lot. I, I did thought too. it was uh, really interesting. It had a lot to say about, like, cancel culture and, like, what you can and can't say in right, comedy. Right. Absolutely, you know? right. And so, uh, yeah, I, I think it's fun that we finally have a show that's addressing that because it's yeah. quite relevant. No, completely. I love the fact that it's coming from a female perspective, yeah. um, but which is a lot different than. than because let's face it, the the the, the cancel yeah. culture of the male comedian the male has comedian. been done to death. Yes. Um. So you kind of take the gender part of it out of the equation a little bit yeah. and focus more on the content. I I kind of feel like because I mean let's face it, the <clears throat> the dude doing the anti LGBTQ rant or women be crazy or whatever that crap has been done to death. Yeah. So I like the fact that we've got this angle instead. Not a lot of women that have been canceled. I guess like Roseanne Barr. Sure. Um. Ellen a little bit, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, the, it it's happened. I mean, there's still a lot. Yeah, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling is kind yeah, of going she, through it, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she's she's the big one right now. Um, but uh, I also like the fact that they're really committed to because uh, the production value is massive. You know it what is. I mean? It's, yeah, it's it wasn't just impressive. like dive clubs and cheap hotels, and yeah. but I mean, they really you know they really you know and it's just a Vegas exclusive. up right. It's yeah, not absolutely. HBO. It's just yeah, it's an HBO, HBO Max show. And, you know, you got to really see the con con contrasting lifestyles of the successful older generation comedian and then the up and coming struggling one kind of together. Yeah, she burned her husband's house down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so I mentioned the fact that it's a comedy and it's hilarious, yeah. too. I mean, this was a really fun opening. I, I did like that, too. I love the aspect of a, she's a rising star. And then we have the, the aging star who's just kind of like getting complacent. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I want to see what they bring to each other's lives. Yeah. And I, I'm complacent in the jokes, but it's not like, complacent yeah, in her yeah, work yeah, ethic, yeah, no, you know? No, no. She's, she's a worker. She's, she is she's a, she is a grinder, man. She's flying around the country doing but she's products. Comfortable. And, she, yeah. She's doing completely. the same thing over and over again. She's not like necessarily growing, I guess. Right. But she doesn't want to let up either, right? Yeah. Like uh, Chris McDonald, which is nice to see him in the show, <laughs> sure. told, told her like, it's time for you to start playing less shows, right? And enjoy your... Yeah. No, she doesn't want to. She Taking wants to keep grinding. Away. Yeah. She wants to grind. Um and I think that the, the and I, I kind of like how they highlight that you know the different generations you have the struggles completely different you it know is, what I mean yeah different times what different times yeah. like what what um, Gene Smart's character had to go through coming up in I want to say the seventies right I think 60s, it was, 70s, it, it was TV the seventies show they're talking about our TV show right and what you know coming up now in the you know social media age for the for the younger one that's the thing right yeah is it's a different you know, they're coming from completely different places. Well, yeah, comedians in the in the 80s and the 90s, you had to get on a show, right? Right. You, you had to come from some kind of show. Eddie Murphy had Saturday Night Live. Um, at 19. Can you believe that? Dude I, was I 19. Yeah, Eddie Murphy is hilarious. I think he was like, he was 20 in 48 hours. Something yeah, like that. he was a, he, he made it as a kid. He, he did. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, look at Robin Williams and, and Mork and Mindy. Right, yeah, that's exactly. A, that's a great example of that. Is, is that. They have to get noticed somewhere. Back then it was TV. Today it's... TikTok, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitter it, yeah, YouTube. It, it, yeah. It's different. Like completely media different. It's a different the world. TV. Bo Burnham came up as a YouTube comedian at six. Exactly. Bo yeah. Burnham was was a YouTube star. Um, but it, that is interesting. It's it, movies are, are becoming more irrelevant, and TV is kind of taking over movies. Yeah, completely. We're in a different world now. Social media is kind of taking over television. Yeah, it, so, it, it's so strange. Yeah, you know? It's, it's, so. It, you know the, yeah, as as our technology and the way we consume media changes, so does the way you yeah. have to become a successful in, in media. And I like that they're addressing that. We don't yeah. really have a lot of shows that do that. Nothing. This is yeah. a, this is this has really been a, a really smart and fun start fresh. to the show. Yeah, and fresh. very fresh, yeah. completely. All right, guys, we want to welcome some new Patreon subscribers from the weekend. So. Shy, Shane Granger, uh, Boomblebee, Beth Blakely, Nina Kay, and Jeffrey Sampson. Thank you so much, guys, and welcome. We really do appreciate you being here. We really do. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, for those of you guys checking us out on YouTube, welcome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> We're glad you're here. Uh, while, while you guys are here, if you don't mind, hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment down below, and yeah. please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. Yeah. We do have the full-length reaction to Hacks and everything else we're watching over on our Patreon page, linked sure in the description below. So if you want to head over there and check it out, uh, we'd sincerely appreciate that as well. You have yep. to bring your own copy to sync with this. Obviously, you're watching us in the one place you can, HBO Max. Oh, yeah. Um, so, welcome, and we are going to continue the show. We should be four episodes ahead over there as well, guys. We like right, to yeah, we should be ahead. Shows. Maybe not four yet on this one, because we're going to launch it earlier on you're YouTube. Right, yeah. But, but yeah. we'll still be, yeah, this is two, and we haven't got a button. We will yet. be. We'll be we'll, four we'll ahead. We'll be ahead, right. No. All right. <laughs> I'm not doing fewer dates. Well, it really wasn't a request. Well, I don't know who you're gonna get. Did you hear about pentatonics? Huge upfront guarantee they didn't even count it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. You really wanna try to fuck me here? Oh, Marty, I'll never be doing that again. Oh my God. Oh. t-shirt on, you know. Uh. Uh. 
I didn't, I didn't look, but is pentatonics a real thing? I think they might uh, be. Are, I don't know. Are they? I mean, let us know in the comments, guys. Yeah. I mean, she's her own company, basically. Yeah, you know, you got you sure. got to have those kind of people. Yeah. Whereas she's sleeping until 1030 in the morning. I mean, it does show the work ethic difference, it too. It does, yeah. yeah. She doesn't have a full staff. Right. She's running by herself. But she also gets to sleep in, and she doesn't have the same kind of pressure on her, either. It's sure. just a different game they're playing. Different type of pressure, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is. She's definitely an earner. I don't she's think I would like earner. living in a Vegas hotel and casino. Yeah. I like get eat, old real quick, wouldn't it? Right, like eating the breakfast buffet every day. Oh, no, never mind. I'd love that, actually. Yeah, so I, like, I like a nice building. See, I would, I, I would not be depressed having this for breakfast yeah, They're every making day. it look depressing, though. It's like, like oh, uh -huh. breakfast eggs and pancakes. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, a full breakfast every day yeah. of whatever I want. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it does. Um, how you doing? How's Vegas? Are you and Deborah Vance down in Louisiana or what? <laughs> well, but, uh, but I do want to drive off a cliff. <laughs> the literal job description. I signed a 470-page NDA. <laughs> God. You need to fire her. Yeah, big time. Yeah. But her father owns half the company, so oh, she's essentially my assistant and my boss. How does everyone have rich parents except for me? I don't hear. Marcus flips properties on the side, like they do on HGTV. I'm torn. Let's ask her. Jade or Hoyt? So we'll go with Jade. <laughs> Let's go with the yeah, chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me know how it goes. I noticed you were at my show last night. Oh, sorry. I I came the night before. I figured it was probably the same. Should I? Look at that. She changed it herself because she's just not lazy. Yeah. She's like I said. She's a worker. I, yeah. She's I a like grinder. Her too. She... Is that a good? Hmm. No. Oh boy. <laughs> Most of these are unusable, but um, this part works. <laughs> like they're not jokes. I mean, like, are they like thought poems? First of all, if you start a sentence with, it's funny because, it is probably not. Yeah. And second, jokes need a punchline. Well, what's happening? I'm playing blackjack. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing at the casino? Oh, casinos are disgusting. People smoke indoors. Huh? Dealer in. Oh, oh no, I, I don't really know how to play. Then why'd you follow me in here? Yeah, um... Any guidance for me? Always hit on 16 and double down on 11. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean about the jokes. There should be more of them than they should be funny. Blackjack! <laughs> Down yeah! Yeah! I just, I don't understand why she's making it so hard. Listen, Deborah's a hustler like me. Her shit is ugly, <laughs> but the quality is there. So if you can't make it good, that is on you. Oh, nice. Sorry, I, I can't write in my room. My neighbors are having like performatively loud sex and the business center is essentially like a fucking coke den. Okay. Can I show you how to play? Yes! Well, Light it up! Learn about where you're at. Yeah. Yes. Have a good time. I was just wondering if you got a chance to read any of the new stuff I sent for tonight. I did. Um... <laughs> It'll be great to hear him with a crowd. Thank you. I don't think she's, I don't think she's gonna do them. No. Better oh, doesn't mean I'm doing them. your bits, yeah. No. You said my jokes were better. They were. Well, you didn't use any. They were better because you stole them from yourself. Uh, oh, there they put a is. food ad on the you! Dang. Well, if I don't have pentatonics, I've got to promote you, right? You might want to lose that joke about Anna Nicole Smith, though, as she is. Dead. Yeah. Long, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Been a it's just been hard to write in your voice when I don't know you. It's fair. Why don't we take a little drive? You can get to know me better on a little road trip. Okay, cool. Your manicurist must use a paint roller. Oh my god. You know, some people think it's pretty cheap to make fun of other people's appearances. Yeah. Ugly people. I want you to go in there and I want you to buy this. For me. But I can't go in. He'll gouge me. He'll get a much better deal. Oh my God. That's why we drove all the way out here. You, you, you didn't want to spend time getting to know each other. Very rare. Okay, now don't mention my name. Oh, and tell him it's uh, personal to you. He loves a story. She does not fit in there. He's going to no. know something's up. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, I've, I am wearing $100 worth of clothes or less, but I've got ten grand for a pepper shaker. Are you here for Deborah? Yes. I Obviously, yeah. yeah. Say my name. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, name your price. An apology. There's no Should way. Should we get the spare? 
It's a Rolls Royce, not a Suzuki Samurai. There is no spare. I've got a flat, and I need to get to my show. Yeah, I need a ride. Can you pick me up? Oh, you're a sweetheart. It'd be hard to work together if we can't communicate. We don't work together. You work for me, and not very well. You don't give me any feedback. You're making it really hard. You have to be so much more than good. And even if you're great and lucky, you still have to work really fucking hard. And even that Coming is Coming from enough. different generations here, you yeah. Scratch. So don't complain to me that I'm making your life hard. You don't even know what that means. I like that idea too. She's probably right on a lot of levels and missing the I mean, fact that there's a different... They, they, have, they come from different places on another. You gotta think... It is. Everybody there wants to do that job. Yeah. Everybody that's the, in the Vegas. The world is full LA. of people who want to be successful writers. Yeah. But you're leaving me here? No. Yeah. Look, and don't run the AC. It's full on gas. Hey, hey, how's it going? This woman left me in the middle of the desert. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Like, I will do any other job. Uh, what a Ava, they want me to drop you. Wait, what? Who? The partners. I used this job with Deborah to convince him to let me keep you on. You just have to find a way to prove it to her. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where's the girl? Did you bury her in the desert? Uh -huh. Not yet. Cue intro. This donut, it's too small for this car. Can't drive faster than 15 miles per hour. Oh my Great. God. Thank you. Yeah. And now if you're a punishment, you gotta work for that woman? <laughs> Poor girl. Poor. It's not for Deborah. It's for me. So please. No. No. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Sell it to me. What are you out of your mind? It's one of a kind. Sell me it. I have nothing left to lose. Stop. I'll do it. And no. There was no change. <laughs> oh, we can start early tomorrow. There. I can be ready for you at ten. Okay. Million pepper shakers. Oh, well, finally, just, there's the missing piece. She's getting, she I know, but everything has to be matchy. Everything has to be. Matchy. It just it seems like such a small tribute. Now it's going to sit collecting dust in a, a room full of things collecting well, dust. It show, exactly. It shows right. that she's got a lot to work on too. Yeah, she does. Right. It's one of, of a million work. shakers. A lot of letting go too. You're right. You do need to get to know me to write for me. For real this time? Yes. Cool. Easy. Every joke I've ever written, every show I've ever taped, every TV appearance for the last 40 years. I want you to digitize it and organize it. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's, yeah, the, the idea is it's still not going to be easy. Yeah. You're going to need to know everything. Uh, look, that, that's, that's probably what, exaggerated from how this actually goes, but right. I mean, she's been around for 50 years. You're right. You've got some stuff to go through. <laughs> you right? gotta, yeah, you got to do some homework, man. I mean, really, if you're going to write for uh, another person in their voice, you're going to write material for a person, if you're going to ghost write, then yeah, you need to, uh, you got to know the person. Yes. You have to know their stage persona. Completely. She had barely seen her show. Right. You got to know who they are when they're acting. Yeah, because you can't, show. what was that dumb joke that she did about the, the voicemail? I had a nightmare about a voicemail. I have a, oh, a nightmare about getting a voicemail. That is definitely not something from Deborah Vance's voice. Yeah. It's something from a 20-year-old's voice. <laughs> it's just not funny. <laughs> it's, and it's not funny. Uh, but I, I really like that speech she gave in the desert because it's true. She, she, Deborah Vance had to work super hard. Yeah, she's clearly. Still, she's still clearly She's still going 100 miles an hour, right. And there's probably something to, to the fact that it was a lot harder for her when she sure, was coming up absolutely. than it is now. She was randomly picked, allegedly. We don't really know her backstory, I right. guess. But still, she she had a rise to fame. She had a grinder way up, right? Absolutely, for decades. Exactly. And um, who who's the uh, her writer she hired? What's her name? Ava. 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 Not that Ava's had it easy, but she's definitely had it much easier. Right. And that kind of takes away the the drive, I guess. You know. But no, you got to work as hard as the next person, and the next person. Yeah, the expectation is just getting it right. Yeah. yeah Instead you know, of so, it's like I'm talented, so I should be able to do anything I want. I'm like, well. That's definitely not the way the world works a lot of the time. And Especially again, if you want to be the best, if you right. want to be super successful, you know. Completely, and and, and again, it's that they're both coming from a, a position of ignorance because it, 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 the, the the game has changed, right? Yeah. The, the the rules of the world have changed. You know, you, you can coast all you want, and for some people, you can get by that way. But like, people resonate with quality, right? You got to put in the work. 
Yeah, and 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 Deborah's a worker, but she's not working on the material. It's the one thing that yeah. she does that that is her blind spot. It is. She does oh, need help sure. with that. So, I mean, I think these guys are a good pairing, but they are totally coming from different places in terms of of the career and and, and what the career means as a to, to write comedy. I I think where the show's going with that though is they're definitely going to help each other. Sure, absolutely, they're, and they're they need help to each other, right? For sure. All right, can't wait to see the next one. We'll catch you later, guys. See ya.